These are the glamping pods, these are new. Tap cottons in the glamping pods. Quite nice, actually. <coughs> Chalets. Again, all very basic. <coughs> Charlie's look like hemmed in there. There you go. So Charlie's kind of got a very basic bed provided. Simple, simple, simple. However, it's clean and really all you need. Top level up there, no point in going up there.
this was here. God damn it. And it takes cards. Oh, that sucks dick. That's good though, because that one takes. Ah, okay, so Phantom Machine at the other side takes card, but the automatics don't take card. Alright, so here, everything's here then. What's over there, but near? So what's at the back? Other stuff? Service room? Service room, okay. And then over here is a big new part of the park that didn't exist before. Slightly blew me away. Let's see. Could be two thousand two two thousand three Volvo P forty ash left nice. So this here is entirely new. Well oh, these tent pitches went here the other day, so this must be the first season really with tents on it. Oh no, looks like it's been attached a few times. Maybe this pitch is better, who knows? So uh, this entire section here is absolutely brand new. None of this existed here before. which you can see yourself if you look on the difference between Google Earth and Google Maps you can see a massive difference so yeah there's a park from the outside uh, if I just show you it from that way there looking back into it and I'm just going to go across here and have a wee look at this boat because it's weird looking some kind of houseboat that again you'll see on the pictures a few new boats there's one up there that just looks like absolute trash I don't know what the story is about that but this one here looks like it used to be some kind of ferry or some shit. I don't know man. How often are they servicing that one? Are they ever servicing it? What's the requirements for that? And then a quite like that here that's probably a bit more recent. Built on just a basic barge which is uh, which is great. Anyway, but that's by the by because that's got nothing to do with the park anyway. No point in me taking you all the way up here. You can see it already in the camera. So, this is a new bit of the park. This is where you will be tenting if you're tenting keeps you safe, keeps all the cars away, I don't think cars are allowed over the six. Uh, there's a couple of tent pitches at the other side over there. Uh, what I would say though is if you are here and it's windy and rainy, ain't no protection, you will get it hard. Don't leave anything outside the car because it'll just get wetter than it is already. Put it somewhere else and let it dry. <laughs> Hang it in a toilet or something. Naughty naughty, grilling. Not allowed to grill there my friend. Maybe it's different here, but yeah, as far as I know. Maybe it just says no open fires. So, that was a quick tour of the camp. There's another wee section I didn't really show you, but yeah, I've basically seen the entire thing. Some nice camper vans here. Some not so nice camper vans here, like mine. It's not really a camper van. Sprinter seems to be the way to go, man. Just get the right size. See a couple of good tra uh, transits, man. They look alright set up. Classic. A lot of pollen. And there's my little horror bus over there in the background there. Which, uh, it's fine, it's done the job. So there you go, that's my wee wander around the camping Zeeburg. I thought I'd go to add some boys over to this. Hope that was shite enough for you. Have a good you. Like and, uh, I don't know, if you can be fucked, press the button. 
quick shit review. Well, it's not a shit review because it's a good review. I'm currently at Camping Zeeberg, Zeeberg Camping, however you want to put it as being, which is uh, in the Netherlands near Amsterdam. It's maybe about a 20 minute bike ride from Amsterdam town centre. It is a very deceitful walk. Google Maps says it's 50 minutes. It is not 50 minutes. It's got to take an hour and a half. It's got to hurt all the way. Take a bike or take the tram. Number number 14 tram. Just across the bridge. It takes you... Look, you can see the bridge in the background. Now, there's a bridge up there somewhere. And uh, number 14 takes you straight to town centre in about 12 minutes. It's great. Uh, get yourself a travel ticket, which you can get in the office there. Four days for 25 quid. Cheap as... Definitely recommend that, I mean, you can jump on and off all transport from the islands. So anyway, that's a quick explore. So up at the back here, as I've shown you there, that's the reception. Book everything online, you don't even really need to talk to those guys anymore. Uh, do bike hire here as well, looks great. Just again, speak to the guys in reception. Some tables here for sitting, dining, chilling. Kitchen facilities are pretty good as well. Uh, this is... One of one, I think they might be adding another one of these facilities though. Because they have recently just added new toilets and shovels, so let's quite look at the old shovels. So you've also got some automats here as well, where you can get some juice. Uh, these ones here are coin operated, that one there takes card. However, if you look up at the back, don't get caught out, because if you look up at the back here, you see there's a building up in the background there? Well, up there there's other machines and you can get uh, the exact opposite. You can basically use your card on the automats and cash in the, in the drinks machine. Anyway, it does matter, because if you don't have cash, sometimes or you've got some card and you can't and you're fucking bust, so uh, it makes sense. So anyway, up here is the old shower block and old toilets, uh, which are still in great condition, still fantastic, not wrong with them whatsoever. They're actually warmer than other ones, I would say. Probably the less people in it, to be honest, they're probably the quieter ones now. So, but they're really nice, really clean. Um, you get an area at the back there for grilling. I don't know if you can see that there. We grill stand there. Um, hold on a second, let's have a look at.
Ja. Ich kaufe bin hier vor. Das ist ja The smoke boat experience. All right. I take it that's not a coffee shop. Whoever. Talking tools. Talking tools. <laughs> Camper facilities for emptying your waste. Yeah, don't want to talk in front of them there. Camping facilities for emptying your waste. It's uh, 50 cents for 60 litres of water, which seems cheap. And it looks like your wastewater is free to get rid of. So there's free spots and free fill up points. So you should never really need to wait longer than maybe five minutes to hook up your, hook up your van. Uh, again, these here are quite new, although it looks like they've been there for a wee bit now. Uh, camping pods, quite nice. Uh, inside they're quite small. I mean the thing with these some of them is that the beds are quite short. Don't know about these ones here, but certainly the cabins that we're about to come up to the beds are 180 and they do mention that online. So if you're a girl you're gonna be fine or you're me you're probably gonna be fine. But uh if you're fucking gigantor you're fucked, put it that way. Yeah. Cabins are great as well. I've stayed in these a couple of times. Staff in the background there, all nice people. Uh these cabins are great though. Um they're a wee bit more expensive, they're very, very, I mean, everything's basic, nothing, nothing's luxury here, but it's, uh, it's glamping with style, I would say. Campsite's great, friendly, one of the better ones. There's another one uh, closer to the town centre, but the campsite's not as good. Staff aren't as friendly. That's a nice scooter there, I see this bit of kit, man. So. It seems like they're kind of progressing away from tents and more into cabins and caravans and stuff. Not caravans, but mobile um, camper van kind of things, you know what I mean? Like a phone wagon, that's a German word. Because um, there's not a lot of tenting people up there. No, that's a tent field, and there's a tent field way up at the back. I think most of the people with the tent fields are way up there. Um, new toilet facility, it's right at the back there, looks great. I really like that. Still got a wee beach here, which is nice. And I think the beach has maybe got a wee bit smaller. Uh, we come out and stick some hammocks up there during the day, which is quite a nice wee place to go chill out. I don't think they've got goats anymore, but they did used to have goats back there. I do like a goat. And here we get to the camper site itself. They've also got washing facilities here, so you've obviously got hot water for washing your plates and stuff like that. Uh, inside there's, you know, running water for your, uh, brushing your teeth and whatever. I mean, it's everything you need is here. It really is. 